Hey guys, this is Steve from Just Watch. Just giving a small little overview over the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Let me start off by saying that it was amazing. I loved every bit of it. Yeah, some fans had some negative things to say about it, but not this guy. Here at Just Watch, we loved it. There was nothing wrong about it. And if you're a fan like me, I love gaps being filled. And that's what this show gave us. It gave us, that, 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 that's what you want, you know what I mean? Like, we, we always wondered, like, what happened between, you know, uh, between episode four, episode five. There's a big gap between episode five, episode six, you know what I mean? The whole, you know, that's why we love Rebels, and that's why we love Clone Wars, because it gave us those filled gaps, and that's what we want as fans. And that's what this did. Um... It told us basically everything we, we needed to know. And let me start off by saying, uh, the actress who played Riva um, was amazing. She did her part, you know what I mean? Down to deceiving us as fans to make us think that she was really hunting Obi, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi you know, for her own purpose when she had her own hidden agenda. That was awesome, you know. Like we found that out with like episode four or five, that that you know what her true agenda was. You know, uh, uh, seeing Obi Wan being disconnected from the Force, not being able to talk to his master, not being able to use the Force to, to you know to his full potential at, at, as we've always known him to do. You know, we see that struggle. Um, you know, it, 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 it connected to a lot of us in so many ways. And it was just an amazing show. You know, we all thought it was going to be about Luke and Obi-Wan from the trailers. And that's not what it was. It was Obi-Wan and Leia. And the little actress who played Leia. And I do not remember her name. Please don't judge me, guys. But she did amazing. I don't... <laughs> like... I think I can't remember the last little kid. I want to say it was the actor who played Anakin, who got a whole bunch of crap for, you know. And then after that, I don't think they did any more kid actors after that. But this young little lady, she did her thing, and she acted so well. And um, she really was able to portray the daughter of Padme, you know. How um, Obi Wan says the stubbornness, the the fight she has in her. Um, not only that, to become a leader, she like you see that all in this 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 little person, and it was just amazing, you know. And that's what it was about. Like Obi Wan was was able to find his way back to the Force through her. We thought it would be Luke, but it was through Leia, and that's what drew me in more. I don't know about y'all guys, but that's that that's what drew me in more to the series. And of course, awaiting the epic battle between Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. We needed a round two. You know, we always seen round one and three. We never seen round two. You know what I mean? So that that was that was awesome. They uh they they definitely felt that in. It was uh it hit here. You know, the dialogue between uh those two um whenever he said um i'm not your failure obi-wan you know he said basically darth vader is who killed anakin skywalker and 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 it, it was a really cool scene whenever they were talking uh in that moment um you see the lightsaber from blue go to red over Anakin's face showing the descent into darkness you know initially whenever he you know uh, his lightsaber struck his helmet and he was you know half his face was gone on his helmet um you know his light his eyes they weren't Sith eyes until the red lightsaber went over Anakin's face or Darth Vader's face and you see the yellow around his eyes. Oh man, they, they, they did that epic parable to um you know whenever Ahsoka you know was fighting uh, Obi Wan and uh and, and I mean not Obi Wan, I'm sorry, um Darth Vader and Rebels. Um you see the Sith eyes right there. Um uh, which I hope we get to see live action guys. Crossing my fingers. But um uh, 
long story short it was an amazing series and there's hope for a season two guys there's hope for a season two and i mean i feel like there's so much more they can do you know they can do with Obi-Wan trying to um, help these Jedi who are in hiding, young Jedi, um, running from bounty hunters because obviously at the end of the you know the episode, um, Palpatine kind of put Vader on blast, you know what I mean? Basically saying, oh, you're not over Obi-Wan and, you know, I, and stuff like that. And uh, basically you know, Darth Vader was basically saying, no, I only serve you, Master. Um, so we could get a lot of like kind of doing things on the side, you know what I mean? Like sending bounty hunters, like, you know, Boba Fett or um, talking to Jabba about finding um, Obi-Wan on Tatooine and sending Boba Fett and Black Chrysanthemum and all that stuff. So um, if they do extend the story further out, it'll be pretty awesome. Um, but other than that, guys, it was epic. I loved it. Um, I can't wait for more Star Wars. We still got um, Ando coming out. We still got, you know, the animated series. Um, we still got Bad Batch coming out. Um, we got Ahsoka coming out next year. We still got Mandalorian 3, which we are going to cover the trailer for that. Um, so much more Star Wars content, guys. Um, I just want to, you know, say thank you to Disney and Star Wars and just fucking, it was just epic. And please excuse my language. I loved it. It, it hit here. It hit home. And uh, thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks to the community. Thanks for watching. Uh, we appreciate y'all. This is uh, my name, is Steve. This is Just Watch. We'll catch y'all next time.